everyone, Morgan here. We're going to be talking about balancing equations practice number one. We'll go through and we'll look at each of these reactions and see how to balance them. Now, there's no rule. It's just what you see. There's nothing that says do silvers before you do sulfurs or oxygen. Just, you just go for it. Now, I see an eight here on the sulfur, which tells me we're going to need an eight there. And 2 times 8 is 16 for the AG. Okay. Now, if you like, you can put a 1 there. That's up to you. If you like, you can go back and count everything again. 16 silvers, 8 times 2 is 16 silvers. 1 times 8 is 8 sulfurs and 8 sulfurs. That's pretty much up to you. Okay. I see a 2 and I see a 3. Those are different, so I'm going to have to put a 2 here. I'm going to have to put a 3 there. That gives us the same number on each side and a 4 on the aluminum. Okay. I happen to see a 2 on the bromine and a 6, so if I put a 3 here, that's good. If I put a 1 there and a 2 there, that's balanced. ALCL3, so okay, I can put a 2 here, 2 times 3 is 6. I can put a 3 here, 2 times 3 is 6. And that means I need to put a 2 on this. Okay. And 5 is already balanced. <laughs> okay. 6. I see a 3 and a 2 happening for the oxygen again. So I know I need to put a 3 here. That means I have to put a 2 there. And I put a 2 right there. Okay. Now, hmm, two oxygens and three. So I'm going to have to put a two there, okay? Which means I'm going to have to put a three there, which means I'm going to have to put a two there on the K2S. All right. Now, for this one, at first I think I'm okay, but then I noticed that I got oxygen there. So I think I have to try to put a two there and a two there. So two times two is four. So two oxygens and two oxygens is four. A one there, my nitrogens balance out. Number nine, one, one, and one. Okay, number 10. Hmm, that's an S8. So I'm gonna have to put an eight here. 2 times 8, so I'm going to have to put an 8 there, 2 times 8. All right. Now, 1 through 10 were all designed to be relatively easy, relatively straightforward. They're going to get harder as we go. Okay. We're now up to four species involved. So I've got two Fs here and only one there. That caught my attention, so I'm going to put a 2 there. And then I think everything else is actually balanced. Calcium, calcium, two hydrogens, two hydrogens. Now here's why you had to pay attention in the last chapter. One sulfate and one sulfate. I can treat polyatomic ions as entities and then just balance them by looking at the polyatomic ions themselves. This is one that was from the lecture outline. Two and two does it. Okay, now here I'm noticing a two on the CLs, so I have to put twos there and there, okay? And then it looks like everything else is balanced. If you're having an OCD day, you can put a 1 and a 1 to make that work. Now, a little more challenging. I got a 3 here, so I'm going to put a 3 on the CO2. I've got an 8 on the hydrogen, so I'm going to put a 4 in front of the water. 2 times 3 is 6, plus 4 more oxygens is 10, so I put a 5 on the O2. All right, so let me show you the top half again for just a second. You can pause if necessary. And now the bottom half again. You may pause if necessary. And now it's time to turn over and go to the other side. All right, so what have we got going here? CH4 plus H2 gives me CO2 plus H2. Okay, so I'm definitely going to have to put a 2 there for the oxygens. All right, 
Now for my hydrogen, 4 plus 4 is 8, which means that's going to need a 4. All right, there we go. Now, hmm, two hydrogens there, but three fluorine. So if I put a 2 here, the fluorines don't work out. If I put a 3 there, the hydrogens don't work out. I think what I'm going to have to do is put a 3 there and put a 2 there. So 2 times 3 is 6, 2 times 3 is 6, put a 6 on that, and put a 2 on the EU, okay? And there we go. All right, for number 17, 2 chlorine, so I'm going to put a 2 there, which means i got to put a 2 on the NaOH, and that looks good. Two hydroxides, two hydroxides, one iron, one iron. Looks pretty good. 18 was also in the lecture outline. It's one, 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 and one. Already balanced. Okay. Now, for 19, those two chlorines over there tell me I'm going to have to put a two there. Okay. And then four hydrogens total. Two here and two here. So I'm going to have to put a two there. And now everything's working out. Okay. Now, 4 on this fluorine. That's interesting. So this is going to have to be a 4. Okay. Now, oxygen. So I got 2, so I'm going to have to put a 2 there. Hey, that's good. 2 times 2 is 4 hydrogens, 4 hydrogens, 4 fluorine, 4 fluorine, 1 uranium, 1 uranium, 2 oxygen, 2 oxygen. We're good. Well, those 2s caught my attention, so I have to put a 2 there. And then actually, number 21 is done. <laughs> All right, so now, in 22, that 4 on the chlorine, put a 4 there, which means I have to put a 2 there. 2 oxygen, 2 oxygen, titanium, titanium, 4 chlorine, 4 chlorine, 4 hydrogen, 4 hydrogen. We're good. Now they're getting a little more complex. We're going up to 3 products, okay? So, the 2 chlorines means I need to put a 2 here. 2 nitrogens, I have to put a 2 there. Okay, now for my oxygen, I've got one, I've got one. Okay, now for my hydrogens, two times four is eight, two times three is six, plus two is eight. Good. And I'm just suddenly feeling like writing in those ones right there. All right. Now here I see two sodiums, but they're only one, so I put a two. That's two nitrates, so I put a two there. Okay, now. On my waters, two hydrogen and two, yep, that balances out. Ooh, oxygen's getting a little tricky on the oxygens here, okay? Two times three is six, plus three is nine, okay? Two times three is six, plus one is seven, plus two, eight, and nine. We're balanced. All right. Now, chlorine caught my attention because I've got it in two places, two of them and two of them, so that's four. So I'm going to put a 4 there on my HCl. Now that means I'm going to need a 2 on my water for the hydrogens to balance. Okay, 2 oxygen, 2 oxygen, 4 hydrogen, 2 is 4, 1 Mn, 1 Mn. Yep, we're good there. Okay. In number 26, I'm seeing a 2 on this chlorine, so I'm going to start with a 2 there. Okay. Now that means 2 sodium, so I have to put a 2 there. Okay. Now the 2 on the OHs, that means a 2 there. So 2 times 2 is 4 hydrogen. Here's 2, there's 2 more. That makes 4. Yep, we're good. 1s and 1s. Okay. Now, getting more complicated. 2 sodiums means I have to put a 2 on the sodiums. Okay. Now, 1 tin, 1 tin. My oxygen's 2 here plus 1 is 3. There's 3 there. Okay, that's good. 2 hydrogens, 2 hy Yeah, hey, I think that's all I really needed to do for that one. All right, now in my next one. Whew, getting a little more complicated. The sodium's caught my attention, two of them, so I'm going to put a 2 there. Two borons. I've got two borons. I've got a sulfate, and I've got a sulfate. Now hydrogens, 2 times 4 is 8 plus 2 is 10. Now I got 6 there. Got 2 there. If I put a 2 there, that'll work out. 
that I can fill in some ones here, here, and here. Now, for number 29, what's going to happen is I'm going to see the two iodines here and put a two there, two sodiums, put a two there. Now, two Bs, two Bs. Two I's, two I's, two Na's, two Na's. Okay, so now it's the hydrogens. Two times four is eight. I got six, and I've already got two, so yeah, I'm good. Six and two makes eight. One, one, one. Now, one more to go. Four fluorines, so I think I'm gonna throw four there. Four sodium, so we have to put a four there, okay? Now for my chlorines, okay? Oh, and my sulfurs, wow. Let's see here. If I put a three there for the sulfurs, one plus two is three. Two times three is six chlorines, and here I've got two, and there I've got four. Two and four make six, and everything is balanced. All right, so we'll take a look there. Pause if necessary. Check how you're doing. All right, we'll move it down to the bottom. Check that out. Pause if necessary. Okay, that's your homework. That's equation balancing number one. Hope you did well there. We will be doing plenty more of it. This is Morgan signing off.